And my prediction in the next 90 days is that actually there's going to be a much larger conversation about agentic system. You won't even know what's missing until it's too late. These AI agent models are not trained to be specialists unless you force them to be. And that takes real structure behind the scenes and most setups don't have it. Everyone's talking about AI tools, but the second you actually try to use them in your business, they break. I've been building a real production grade AI agent that turns long form content into short form posts automatically. And I've hit every edge case you can imagine. From GP misfires to hallucinations to fragile make.com flows and limitations, I've learned what actually makes an AI agent worth buying and what's just marketing fluff. So if you're thinking about buying an AI agent or building one of your own, here's what no one tells you until it's too late. Before we get into the traps, a quick but important distinction. Not all automation is an AI agent. Automation says, if X, do Y. An AI agent says, if X happens, think about the best action and then do it. That layer of judgment adapting to the context is a key differentiator. So when I talk about AI agents in this video, I don't mean simple workflows. I mean systems that make smart decisions inside your business. Once I got my Content Repurposer Pro working though exactly the way that I wanted it to for my own content, I started testing it as in running iterations. And the first time it worked really well, the second time it worked really well, it gave me exactly what I wanted. So I was like, cool, it's ready to go. But then I remembered there's this concept in development called hardening. And I was like, well, let me test it a third time. The third time was an absolute disaster. The fourth time gave me random results. And the fifth time, we won't even talk about that. The point is I had to spend another 50 hours working through all of those kinks and adding a bunch of logic so that every time ChatGPT made an update, my AI agent didn't suddenly do something weird. I needed it to be stable every single time I ran it, regardless of a particular agent in the case of my re repurposer, I use ChatGPT. So that's the one I'm referring to for, for that specifically. Needless to say, AI agents are complex and they do their own sets of thinking and you have to really create some strong parameters around it. I've spent about 300 hours building the Content Repurposer Pro. So this isn't a simple like, let's just pop something into make.com or Zapier or N8N or Replit or any of the ones out there. Like they actually require a level of work when there is complexity. And that's oftentimes the difference between buying an AI agent and understanding what makes a good AI agent worth purchasing. So trap number one, it can't handle real complexity. A lot of tools can rewrite a blog post, but the moment you say, match my tone, follow these rules, don't make stuff up, poof, it folds. These AI agent models are not trained to be specialists unless you force them to be. And that takes real structure behind the scenes and most setups don't have it. So if it sounds too flexible, that's a red flag, not a feature. Trap number two, GPT hallucinations wreck trust. And it can happen in your agent so easily. GPTs are great at sounding confident, even when they're dead wrong. And if your agent isn't tightly constructed, it will invent quotes, data, and examples that you never said. It might not matter in a brainstorm, but for branded content, that's risky. Trap number three, no logic, just vibes. Here's what I mean. Let's say you upload a YouTube video about pricing strategies. A bad AI agent will just grab a few lines and turn it into a thread or a post, even if there's no structure. A smart agent checks. Is there a list that could become a carousel? Is there a quote worth isolating? And does your tone match your brand? And without that, you're getting surface level summaries, not strategy aligned content. Trap number four, Silent fails are the scariest ones. I've had make.com flows run without air and still skip half the steps. And this is not an isolated make.com situation. It's just the system that I prefer to work with because it gives me the most customization and flexibility without being a developer myself. I was on a demo today for my Content Repurposer Pro and I've done 100 cycles in a row where it ran perfectly. I changed one thing to set up for the demo and everything ran except half the output showed up and half stayed in make.com. So it's one more thing that I've got to debug before I really finalize and put it out there. But it happens more often than you can imagine. And the more complex an AI agent is, the more it's possible. No alert, no log, just gone. So if your system doesn't have built in checks or fallback behavior, whether you're building or buying, you won't even know what's missing until it's too late. And that's not automation. 
that's roulette. Trap five, it's not even a real agent, but they told you it is. Some tools promise AI automation, but the results show up 15 minutes later or an hour later. And it's magically polished no matter who you are or what you've uploaded. I can't prove there's a person behind the curtain, but I've built real agents. And I know how hard it is to make that precision repeatable without a human in the loop. And in fact, there's an AI agent store. Maybe we'll pop it up here so you can kind of get a glimpse of what that looks like. But in the AI agent store, one of the things that is shown on every single AI agent that is available for sale, whether it's closed source, open source, whatever, is an automation rating. And most of them have an automation rating between 50% and like 85%. There's a couple that creep a little bit over. I have yet to find one that's 100% being sold in that store. So if it seems extremely well priced and it can do all these things, be suspicious about how automated it actually is to run on its own. Here's the key, and I'll use my system as an example. My AI agent is 100% automated and it puts the output into a Notion document. But in that Notion document, it flags it in a status of review content. It doesn't automatically push it out and publish it. It gives you the ownership to review it. So the AI agent is 100% automated, but then there is a step for you to do after that because you wanna ensure that what you're looking at gets that like last bit of polish on it. So the agent itself is 100% automated, but you still have control. And that's what you're looking for when you're looking for an AI agent that does exactly what you wanna do without you losing control over the final product. Because you see, that's for control, not cleanup. And in my case, that's not ghostwriting, that's content operations. If you buy or build a tool that requires a person to finish the loop before it gets back to you, that's not automation, that's delegation. So let's put together a little buyer beware checklist. If I were buying an AI agent today, here's what I would ask before clicking buy. Can I see how the full workflow works, not just the output? Second, how is brand voice handled? And is it consistent across formats? And what happens when the input doesn't match the content type? Are there fallbacks or does it just push junk? So those are the questions that I would hope a savvy buyer would ask me or look up um, for my content repurposer pro. Think about what are the questions that would apply to the AI agent that you're buying and make sure that you're asking smart questions before you make that purchase. And if they can't answer clearly, that tells you everything. So here's how I think about the landscape. First, you've got prompt packs, which are DIY ideas. You're still doing the work. The tool just gives you the head start. Automations are rules without judgment. These are great for repetitive tasks, but they easily break when the input isn't perfect. And AI agents are decisions with context. These adapt, enforce tone, and run without you every single time. Most tools out there, they stop at level two and they're not true AI agents. If you want real leverage, aim for level three, because that's the game that we're playing now. And my prediction in the next 90 days is that actually there's going to be a much larger conversation about agentic systems, which are AI agents working together in mass in a group. So you have a top level one and ones underneath. So stay tuned. And if you're interested in that, let me know and I can talk more about agentic systems. I've spent months building my own real world production grade battle tested, and I'm almost done with the last piece. And that's the documentation of how to set it up without breaking anything and customize to you as an individual. If you want to follow that build or get notified when the beta opens, I break it down in my weekly newsletter, The Build Brief, and you can sign up at erintran.com slash YT. All right, that's all for me. Take care, stay true to yourself. Bye.